Hi guys, I've gotten so bored with this coronavirus quarantine that today I'm going to be pimping out my filter. I'm adding strawberries in the back and I'm show you guys how I do it because if this quarantine gets any worse, I might actually have to live off of my fish. Anyways, the strawberry is going to help reduce some excess nutrients, reduce some algae as you can see, although my boost is pearly, there are some algae on there. So let's get started, let me show you how it's done. So I've been doing this with basil, and this is actually a trimming from my 10 gallon tank. It's been here for about a week now. It uh, really doesn't know any tricks other than maybe if I don't have enough nutrients in the water, it'll turn yellow and like possibly die on me. So let me open up the lid and uh, show you guys what's under it. It's only been a week and you can see that it's already growing so many root, little pieces of root that kind of look like string but I promise it's roots so I guess we can uh, take that out now because we're gonna be drilling holes yeah so today I'm gonna be using a power drill to drill holes on the top lid of my aquarium filter if you don't want to mutilate your filter I suggest you use another plant you can use an herb or something that's not as absolutely thick as strawberry rhizomes are and so this next section was like a really long shot of me flexing and showing off my strawberries. They're really not that special. Um, they're just regular strawberries. They're not that hard to take care of. And I uh, don't remember what I was saying in the original video before I put the voiceover in. Basically, I think I was trying to say something deep and profound, but telling you guys to clean your strawberries and wash all the dirt off. And uh, I doubt anyone that's watching this will want to put any dirt um, in their aquarium without, you know, having it be either substrate or like sand cap. So just basically wash everything, make sure everything's clean, clean off all of the leaves and everything. And uh, I really don't have anything else to say, so I'm just gonna like shut up now. And then the next thing that you're gonna see is like the serious version of what I just said. Here's the other one, same deal. You're gonna to want to remove all of the dirt and all of the old leaves. And uh, for this one, you could actually see some flower buds in the middle there. I don't know if they'll actually flower because the strawberries will have to go through a conversion stage to get used to growing in water. And then if you get the strawberries outside or anywhere that's not inside and clean, you wanna soak these overnight in water to get rid of all the dirty stuff, all the pesticides. Now, I actually just took a pot from the kitchen while my mom wasn't there and we went into the garden, dug up all the strawberries and washed them. So I'm actually gonna hide this under my desk overnight to soak. All right, so well, I guess it's soaking. We can start drilling some pilot holes. I put this in a clamp and um, just gonna use a really thin power drill bit to get some pilot holes in there. Basically, we don't want to start with a really thick drill bit because that might just go everywhere and take your hand off at the same time. Obviously, practice drill safety, wear protection, blah, blah, blah. You know, wear protection. And uh, this is what the finished product looks like with the pilot holes. I put a little coffee filter behind it so you guys can actually see it on the light. One, two, three, four. I did four things there. I wanted to do um, a little bit more, but remember to unplug everything. I don't have a trigger guard on my power drill, so I don't want to accidentally press it and, you know, break my hand while I'm changing out the drill bit. And then I think I went a size like up too much. Basically, it went from really small to a really thick drill bit. So it really didn't work as well as I intended. So I guess maybe start on the other side next time. Here's the other one. And as you can see, I'm trying to do this as fast as possible without any gloves in my hands right there. Wow, now that I think about it, that was kind of really dangerous. Anyways, oh well, I didn't hurt myself, but that was pretty much luck. Here is a really prime example of why that third drill bit, you wanna make sure that, um, anyways, yeah, you see that. Make sure the clamp is on tight because if not, that happens and uh, you might actually hurt something, either yourself or the filter lid. And uh, I guess we're done with that. Oh my God, what am I doing there? 
Oh yeah, I think I was uh, trying to widen it enough because my drill bits weren't big enough for this hole. Anyways, here's the finished product. As you can see, there's still a lot of plastic on there. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a file and file down everything so that the plant roots and the plant itself actually won't get hurt on the sharp edges. They're like little babies at this point. So the next day we can finally put everything in. I've got the filter lid cleaned up and uh, the strawberries have been soaking overnight. I even added the basil there. So you're gonna gently just stuff it in the hole, um, roots included. You wanna try to not break any roots while you do this. It might take a while and you might realize that your hole's not big enough for your strawberry or vice versa where your strawberry is too big for the hole, but hopefully everything goes to plan and uh, you get to plant your two strawberries. And the basil roots are a little bit longer, but that's not a problem. Just go ahead through the, throw the roots in first and uh, pull it out on the other side. Kind of like if you're sewing or trying to put a needle and thread together to start sewing. I'm gonna turn around and let you guys see everything. And uh, yeah, it really does look like I'm sewing now. Before we end it, gotta make sure we sneak into the kitchen and clean and put that pot back where it came from. So hopefully my mom won't need to use it until after it's dried so she doesn't suspect a thing. And there it is folks, I mutilated my filter for you guys today. I actually kind of like the way it came out. So if you want to see an update, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, hit the like button. And uh, my nails are a little bit longer than I kind of want them to be so I'm going to go cut my nails now and upload this video. Thank you guys all so much for watching. I hope you guys stay safe and healthy during this quarantine. I'll see you guys next time.